call somebody. It's exactly what this guy said. You can't visit parents after this time. It's a very good story about a lady in, in Krishnan and Gita, husbands and wife, they were both had coronavirus. They couldn't leave the house. And the father and mother was living on the other side and they couldn't go and help them at all. The father passed away. Just a block away. This is what we're talking about. Hmm? Let me call them and get the answer from their whole from the hand. They're so happy the father passed away peacefully in his sleep. Just gone. They couldn't go. They told me. Hmm? Hello? Madam? Yes, you are, sir. You are now live on Facebook. We are talking about your father who passed on very just away from your block, right? Yes, sir. Just one street away, sir. That's all. And you couldn't visit him. Remember, huh? Right. And you and your husband, both you and your husband, madam, huh? Yeah, both, both me and my husband. So we were sitting at home healing ourselves. You supported us. You, uh, you told us, uh, and we did not panic or anything. But we were concerned about our parents because they live alone. My father is 87. Right. My mother is nearing 80. Right. And they were very independent. They were weak, of course, due to age. Mm. So my daughter went over there to just take care of them in our absence. Right. We would visit Yes, but 80, madam, at 87 years old, you don't get a fall, madam. Yes. You don't yes. fall down. Anybody, yes. madam, even 80 yes. years old, you don't fall down. Some 75, they fall yes. down, they get so much trouble, madam. Yes, so, but still he recovered from the fall. Mm. And on Sunday evening at uh, around 5.30, he was perfectly all right. He had uh, something to drink and generally he rests. So he just, uh, on his cot, he lay down, he told my daughter, I'll come and watch TV after some time. That was his routine. He would watch something, read something. He reads a lot. Mm, mm. So he said, uh, he, he told her, I'll come. So she said, okay, I'm going to take a wash, Tata. And uh, she just left to the washroom. Mm. When she came back after 10 minutes, she called him. And because he eats, he has one tablet which he takes between 6 and 6.15. Mm. Uh, that's for his heart. He's been taking it since uh, a long time now. Mm. So that one tablet, uh, he so she went and called him, ta 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 ta, and he didn't respond. So immediately, you know, she shook him and tried to, uh, you know, put some water and uh, uh, pressed his heart, but he was not responding. So she she just rushed across, called the neighbor, and there is a doctor in the building, and uh, uh, he came and he said uh, he has passed very mm. peacefully. Mm. There is no pulse. There is no heartbeat. Mm. And, uh, but yeah, for formal certification, because these are COVID times, no sir. Mm. So for formal certification, he was just uh, taken to the hospital. We also rushed, although we, we were in the last day of quarantine, mm. uh, last two days, the building people said absolutely nothing to worry, you have recovered. Yes. Your parents, you must come. They were extremely cooperative because nowadays, what we are hearing in India, people are, you know, even their own parents, they are shunning. If they are, we, I heard of a son who threw his father out because he got COVID. My God. So extremely, extremely good neighbors, they, they came running. And But yeah, we had lost him, sir. That sadness will be there. But as I spoke to you that day, his transition was beautiful, sir. He just yes. closed his eyes and left. He's gone by the council body immediately, madam. Within 10 seconds. Yes, yes. Yes. It's gone. Yes. So nothing to worry it about. Very, yeah, what I want to tell you on live FB is, sir, if there is one thing I have learned from him, he was a man who was very spiritual, never religious, sir. He never believed in visiting temples. He never, be, but he was a scholar. And he would say, we have to learn from the scriptures the right things. This I want to say in public because you have shown, given me the honor of calling me to do, sir. Mm. I just want to say that if there is one thing I learned from my father, he never believed in any rituals. Mm. He was a he was a Hindu by birth, and he followed all the whatever practices and all that. But the one lesson he taught me in life was that there is absolutely no meaning in all nonsense rituals. And it is not required. This is only for our mind. He used to tell me this. 
Yes, madam. Within seconds, one, two, three, four, five. He left. That's it. He went. Finished. Done. Yes, His work yes, is finished. Yes. 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 It's like so, that's I why I tell that. people, madam, sudden death can be so fast. It's gone. So what we have to do is now yeah. dispose of the body very easily and thank the world for yes, thank all his teachings, madam. No, Exactly, madam. That's why I tell everybody, madam. I tell this to everybody. Yes. Don't trouble yes. anyone. When he's troubling, you say yes. thank you very much. I gotta go now. Just go. Don't worry. There's another life, madam. Your father, your father will come back again, yes. madam. Don't worry. Exactly. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Okay, thank, you. thank you, sir. Thank you. you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, madam. Bye, 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 bye. You see, guys, so they called me up and told me, you know, their father said, don't worry, madam, let it happen. You know, they couldn't go and see the father. Just a block away. Because they called me themselves. So the children were in the house. They were giving food for both of them in the room. So there, that girl went and took care of the father and mother. You know, her father, her grandparents, you know. And she's a younger, she's only about 17, 17 years old. And she was there taking them, making food for them, cooking for them. So the girl spent the last hour with this man. You know, and as mother says, he's a spiritual man. He doesn't talk about gods or rituals. He knows exactly. So we can all be like that. And once you finish, you just, boom, you just go automatically. Nothing to worry about. Huh? It's very important to understand about nature. So start today, my friend. Go and watch my art of dying class and start all over again. Don't worry. You don't have to be a super duper yoga expert. You don't have to be super duper oriented. Nothing. Just do basic things. Help as many people as you can. And that's it. You don't have to, you don't have, to have a thousand people. So remember, like this, become a peerage ambassador. Simple. Help somebody from the suffering and you will be rewarded when you go up tomorrow. Don't worry. Don't worry about PVH or don't worry about me. Just do your work. Okay? Now, in a mystery.